What's up guys, Captain Mars Food Reviews here, and um, this is, oh, it's a Starkist Lunch To Go Chunky Light Tuna in water. Now, I've never had tuna before, believe it or not. Today, I'm gonna try it. Uh, got this at, at Target, I think, and this seems, and what I can find in here seems to remind me of an MRE meal ready to eat. It contains 2.6 ounce flavor fresh pouch, reduced calorie mayo, and relish packet, six crackers, a spoon, napkin, and mint. That's what kind of reminds me of a MRE meal ready to eat. And I've seen many people review MREs. I don't know where to find those. So I'm gonna review this. Oh no, I'll just try my best. It's my first review I actually did on this channel. Right, I don't know if my camera can see that. It says, probably his name, Charlie. You see on his hat, the fish. I think you can see it now. Yep, my camera can definitely see it. All right, great. Now, we got that out of the way. Time to try it. trash can which is over there so in here we get the tuna there it is in water fresher tasting and no draining it so it looks pretty good actually someone told me it tastes like chicken I don't know well we'll put that aside for now here is the napkin that's included leave that there they include a spoon that is quite small. That's how small it is compared to a uh, this is a pretty standard um oh shoot drop that. Still use it because it hasn't been five seconds since I dropped it. This is a pretty standard spoon compared to that. This is the one you get at restaurants. It kind of has the same shape to it compared to that. It is very much a small spoon. Put that aside again. And let's see what else we get. A mint. This is a mint. I'm going to have that when I'm done. Got some sweet relish. I'm going to add that. Have some reduced calorie mayonnaise. I'll have that as well. And up front. Uh, we have what I'm gonna put the tuna on, some crackers, there you go, um, that's what you get in here, hang on, one more thing, is it taped down, it says pour tuna into plastic tray and by plastic tray I'm assuming this are they serious about that okay here's what I'm gonna do I think there's a plastic tray in here to hold the crackers see this is mainly supposed to be used perhaps as emergency food that's what well at least that's what my family buys it for and I'm sampling it I'll pour the crackers in here, actually, and put it in here. Oh, wait, here. I want to see what that uh, that mint looks like now. Ooh, it's blue color. So yeah, that's what the mint looks like. I'll put that here. I'm definitely gonna eat it. Mix in desired amount of condiments and top the crackers. So they want me to mix the con the condiments with the tuna while it's in here. Fine. They insist. I'll put them here. So the instructions say mix. So pour it into the plastic tray. I'm assuming it's this. Mix in condiments. I'm probably going to add all of it. 
and then top the crackers. Leave this on the seam and use the spoon that they include. Yeah, I'll use this to wipe my mouth later. So, oh, oh wait, it got oh, it got all over my desk. I'm actually gonna tr just try a little bit right now. So it's already cooked. It's good. Like yeah, it tastes good. All right. Okay, I know. I know I'm adding to my crackers now. Okay, okay. There's a little bit left in there. Come on. That's good enough. Now, like the instructions said, I'm just following it. Mix in the desired amount. I want to taste this mayonnaise. I haven't had it in a long time. So I'm going to taste test everything open it how I normally open stuff like this. Is this how you do it? I don't know. I don't know if it's the right way. But I think everyone's got their own way of opening these packages. Hmm. Is it weird to eat mayonnaise just like that? I just want to, you know, sample it. That tastes right. Yeah, they said mix it in here. It's like some kind of cool dairy-free, um, I don't know if I told you this, but I can't have dairy. So, yeah, so this, I read the instruct, not instructions. No, it's not a tech unboxing or review. It is a food review, so I can't say the instructions. Ingredients. And this doesn't contain any milk, and that's good. Toss that in my trash can over there. And also have sweet relish. I'm gonna try that. I haven't tried in a long time, actually. Hang on. I'm gonna toss this in the trash as well. Not bad. Adding all of it as well. Then I'll mix it. Then I'll just add it to my cracker. Yeah, it should taste pretty good. If I like this, I'm buying more from the store. No, 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 no. I'm not the best chef in the world, but this will do. All right, that's, that's mixed up enough, I would say. Time to get a cracker right here and top that cracker with some tuna. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Okay, I'll try that. Hmm. Hang on, hang on. It tastes very good, actually. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy more of this from the store. Of course I am. I'm being very honest with you, it tastes really good. If you haven't tried it, 
You probably have once. Do it. I'm gonna have another one. Let's see. Hang on, where'd that mint go? Well, I've already eaten two crackers in front of y'all. Um, I'm uh, last thing I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna try the mint and I'll tell you what it tastes like. I don't know if it tastes like mint because it looks blue, so I'm guessing blueberries. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Artificial blueberry because they taste very different, the real one and artificial. Nope, it tastes like mints. Like the artificial mint flavor with a bit of sugar. So yeah, that's what the mint tastes like. Fish layer. All right, that is kind of my review of the, what is it, Star Kissed. Lunch to go, mix your own, chunky light tuna in water. Um, yeah, it tastes really good. I like it. I'm definitely going to buy more. And yeah, that's kind of it for this video. Go to your local supermarket. Go to your st local store. I don't know. I got it at um, Target. I guess you can get it at basically any store that sells food. And yeah, go try it. Try this one. Um, yeah, I've really got nothing else to say about it. Oh, wait. One more thing, one more thing before I end this video. Um, I was told to give it a score. Mm, a friend told me to, when I start doing food reviews, give it a score out of 10. Mm, first, so it's, it tastes really good, actually. It is, it's hard to say. 10 is the best food I've ever had. One is the worst food. I'd have to give it a six out of 10. A five would be something bland, I don't know. Something a bit bland. Actually, yeah. I'll give it a six. It tastes pretty good, but not the best. Yeah, six out of 10. I'm done with the video. I have nothing to say. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button for more great videos. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.